Tonight, you might say, we've put the pub in the public library. <laughs> I can tell you the Tank 7 story. The Tank 7, actually, the first, uh, we wanted to make a farmhouse ale uh, in the Smokesack series, and we made one, and we called it Saison, which is what those styles are called in Belgium. But people in America can't say Saison. I can't say it. I mean, you feel weird, like, give me a Saison. What is it? You know, nobody knows. And so the beer really didn't sell very well, even though we really liked it. And then when we made the uh, um, um, Saison Brett, which was a bigger... <laughs> yeah, that guy, I know he likes it. Uh, you know, it was a much bigger, a little bit bigger, more alcohol, a little hoppier beer for this bigger uh, Brett beer that we were making. We all kind of liked that recipe, and it was made in Tank 7. And, you know, we, we do these test brews at the brewery, and frankly, they don't have a name. They're just a beer that we've, we're making. So the brewers give these beers names, and I can't repeat some of them. <laughs> but that one was always called Tank 7. And so, uh, actually, Jeremy Ragonies is here, and he's our head of marketing. And he, was, he thought that was the worst name he'd ever heard for, for a beer, was totally adamant that we not do it. But I think the brewers were so uh, persistent, they just said, you got to name it Tank 7, and we did. And I think Jeremy thinks it's probably a good name now because it sells really well. Now, your, your sister just snuck up behind me, and, and as I think Henry mentioned, John's sister Carrie is, is, a, is one of the world's great librarians. She also was secretary, the original, I think, secretary of the company, she tells me. And we've asked her to re-register your stock in the name of the library. Um, <laughs> But, but she, she said I should ask you uh, this, to tell the story of Bob's 47. You know, that's a good story. Uh, actually, when I first started the brewery, I had a consultant out of Seattle named Charlie McElvey who was, uh, uh, really helped us. He was a German-trained brewer. And, um, but uh, four or five months after I started, this guy named Boots, I don't know, he had a restaurant called Boots and Coats, and he called me and he said... I have this old friend, and he used to be a brewer at the Mulebach Brewery. He'd like to come down and see your brewery. So he brought, brought him down. And, you know, Bob lived in a rest home then. He had, his wife had died some years before. He had two artificial, he had, uh, was a bad diabetic. He also drank a case of beer a day, he told me, for his entire adult life. So that might have been part of his problem. Um, but he walked on two um, canes. But he was an incredibly practical brewer that had been in the Mulebach Brewery since he was 17 years old and just had this wealth of knowledge. And so he would come down to the brewery uh, once a week. Usually he'd take a, either a friend would bring him or he'd take a taxi. And after we were done working, we'd sit around and drink beer with Bob and he'd tell us all these great stories about working in these old breweries back in the you know, 40s and 50s and 60s. And, um, and he would sometimes, he was a, excellent cook and he made great head cheese so he would bring down head cheese and we would drink eat head cheese and drink beer and so uh, we came up with this we asked him one day a common question what was the best beer you ever had Bob and he said well when I was going to brewing school in New York City with my wife back in 1947 we made this Munchner style beer that was the best beer I ever had of course, it was probably because he was in New York City and he was happy and, you know, that's usually when your best beer is, is when you're really happy anyway. And um, so anyway, we wanted to name this, we made a beer uh, in the spirit of the beer Bob had made in, in uh, 1947. And uh, we named it after him, which we thought he would be flattered. Uh, and I think he was really flattered, but he liked our pale ale best. <laughs> so he always told me that. He goes, yeah, it's okay, but I like the pale ale better. 